Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Ariella. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for checking it out. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please subscribe. I'm almost at the 100 mark, only 15 subscribers away. I also hope that you will give this video a like and possibly a comment if you feel ever so inclined. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the idea of marriage and just sort of the pros and the cons that come along with being married. Also, I'm going to be addressing the question, should you get married young? If you guys, which you guys don't know, Mason and I, my husband, got married last December and I'm 21 and he's 22. So I feel like we're pretty young for getting married, you know, pretty young age. So I'm just gonna be kind of talking about like how I feel about that and how it would relate to all of you who might be questioning with your uh, boyfriend or not, if you guys should get married. This video is going to be obviously more related towards like the biblical standards of things because I know that in today's society it's really looked down on with getting married early but in today's video I'm going to be taking sort of more of a biblical approach to marriage and sort of why Mason and I chose to get married young. Now this of course doesn't relate to everyone so if it doesn't relate to you I hope you learned something and maybe change your mind on a few things. So let's get on with the video. So I have my phone here just because I took a lot of notes on just sort of what I wanted to talk about and I don't want to, you know, go off track and like go on a rambling page, you know? So I have my notes here and I'm just gonna, so if you see me like looking down, it's cause I'm just making sure that I'm staying on track. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about cons just because I like to get the bad stuff over with first and saving that to the end. So we're talking about the cons then we'll move into the pros and then into sort of what I think about the question if you should get married young. So let's get on with it. Okay, so one of the biggest cons I think that when it comes to being married is that you can't be a spur of the moment. So that can be kind of a bummer, especially if like you want to go on a trip and like you have to kind of talk it over with your husband first. Now that you're married, you work as a team, so you definitely have to go over things that before when you were single, you wouldn't have to normally go over with like your boyfriend, you know? Because when you're married, you're living together, you're working together, you're like basically one. So everything that you do, you sort of have to talk it over with each other. So I know that for some people that can be viewed as a con. Mason and I though, we haven't really had any problems when it comes to that because normally if I want to do something, he wants to do it too. And if he wants to do something, I normally want to do it. So it's not really a problem on like me or him telling me that we can't do something or that I can't do something, if you know what I mean. But another way that this could sort of be a con is like, for example, if you have a big group of girlfriends, and this is something, this doesn't really affect me or Mason because Mason and I, we're not really the most social people. Like we have friends, but we really, but we're more of like together. Like we don't really go out and do a lot of stuff, you know, other than if it's together. But like the way that it could be a problem is if like you have a bunch of girlfriends or your husband or your boyfriend, soon to be husband has a bunch of boyfriends and they want to go out and go clubbing or go out to the bar that could be viewed as a con for some people like just because when you're married you don't go out and do those things like do those things anymore I mean of course there's certain couples that like do that but like it's more of like you do things together as a team so it could be viewed as a con the second con that I wrote down is that things your relationship gets real in a lot of ways so before being married when you're single or even dating you really only take care of yourself so like for example you're only paying your own bills you're only like worrying about yourself you're not having to worry about another person but as soon as you get married there's it takes your relationship to a whole nother step because it comes because you and your husband become one and it becomes what is like we're having to pay bills together we're having to worry about putting like a down payment on a house wanting to buy a house there's just a lot more things that come into being married that like previously when you're single you don't have to worry about so that can be a con if you're not prepared for it and if you're not expecting it. So now let's move on to the pros. Okay, so of course I have a lot more pros because I'm married, I love being married. I mean, ooh, don't get me wrong, marriage is hard. It's not like some like easy just little walk by breeze. Nothing in life that's good is ever going to be that. But overall, there's way more pros and cons, I personally think. So let's get in with the pros. So. One of the biggest pros for me is that you're no longer 
like living like you get to live with your best friend like who doesn't want to live with their best friend Mason and I we get along pretty well I mean there's times when we have like this like miss ups but I think that's with like any relationship but we normally get over them pretty quickly it's normally my fault and it's normally around the time of the month that I get extra grouchy Mason's normally normally pretty chill on all levels he just is a chill guy I'm normally the more high tense one but yeah I mean it's really nice being able to live with your own friend or live with your best friend and do everything with them and I think that that's really awesome and a benefit is if you get married young you sort of have your whole life to be with your best friend and to really grow and develop your relationship which I think is really awesome and a really beautiful thing so the next pro that I have written down is normally when you marry someone you marry them because you complement each other in some way so for example like Mason's really good at planning things getting things done numbers wise getting things like math wise done and I'm more of like visionary like I like to look at like I'm more of the creative one and he's more of the, I don't know what the word is called, what is the word? Like more of the deep, I don't know, I can't think of the word. But like, we're, we're opposites in that way which I think is really awesome especially when you're married to someone because it means that you're always going to be learning new things and you can always, re like if you don't know how to do something, your partner will know how to do something and you can kind of learn off of them and it's just a really good way I think to have a relationship and so that's one of the pros I think is that you're constantly going to be learning new things. The third pro that I have written down is that when you get married you get to sort of help each other grow as a team and grow your guys's relationship with God which I think is a really important thing it's really nice to be able to deepen our relationships together and together with God and just sort of be able to get the blessings and learn more about God with each other which I think is really awesome and to watch each other grow because Mason is a fairly new Christian and I'm a fairly new Christian Mason was baptized a few months ago and I was baptized about a year about well about two years ago so it's really awesome to be able to be together and to see each other grow in our faith and just sort of be able to talk things through so that's definitely a big pro with getting married is that you get to sort of see that and be able to deepen our relationship with God so now I'm gonna answer the question should you get married young and sort of how I feel about it so obviously I think that if you've been in a relationship for with with someone for like over six months and this is of course if you are living like if you're if you know that they're the person that you want to marry and if you guys are living together I think that you should get married to the person just because I think that it is the godly way to do things and I think that God will bless your relationship if you do do that I think that if you're living together and you're not married God isn't going to bless your relationship but that's my belief that's my biblical belief on things of course other people have different beliefs on things but I think that if you are Christian and you are with someone you should know at that time if you guys should get married I think that once it gets to sort of the six month point you should know if that's the person for you especially if you are dating them with intent you're asking them the deeper questions like how they feel on certain topics uh, at that time you should know if they're the person for you so in that way I would say yes of course you should get married but if you're not Christian and you are someone who or even if you are Christian and you like to go out and you like to be spontaneous and you like to do things that just sort of involve yourself marriage can be a difficult thing and it's probably not best for you <laughs> just because it's gonna it would be hard for you to sort of give yourself up for someone else you know like when you get married it really is you two becoming one and it can be hard if you're someone that likes to go out likes to be spontaneous likes to just do crazy things it's hard to be married in that sense unless you know the person you're marrying is the same way but yeah unless they're the same if you guys like to be spontaneous together then shoot you should just get married <laughs> but yeah so that's sort of my opinion on it I do think that I do think it 
I think it's I think that marriage is a beautiful thing and when you get married young you really are able to grow with each other and you're able to sort of see each other develop through each stage of life which I think is an awesome thing so yeah thank you so much for watching my video I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in my next video thank you so much for just checking it out watching like I said if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please leave a comment telling me your opinions on marriage and what you think I love to hear other people's opinions on this topic so please let me know and I will see you all in my next video bye